So, Catherine, this is the message that we're going to see from Rishi Sunak later. There is going to be a focus on the West and the West's support of Ukraine in terms of military aid, isn't there? Yes, absolutely. Rishi Sunak will be leading the nation in a minute's silence at 11 o'clock outside Downing Street, along with the Ukrainian ambassador and members of the Ukrainian armed forces who are training here with British soldiers. And then this afternoon, he will be hosting a video conference call with members of the G7 and really saying that everybody needs to prioritise getting military support to Ukraine right now, that this is very urgent, this cannot wait, that Russia will renew its offensive imminently, and time is absolutely of the essence. Now, although the UK is not pledging to send fighter jets uh, direct to Ukraine, uh, despite what Boris Johnson, the previous Prime Minister, says, they are offering to backfill where other countries, potentially Poland, for example, would send their MiG fighters. Now, the reason for that is that Ukrainian soldiers, Ukrainian runways are equipped to fly and deal with those types of planes now and trained to use them. So the typhoons that we have could potentially be sent to Poland or other countries in Eastern Europe to make up for planes that are sent to Ukraine. But really, although a year ago Boris Johnson was Prime Minister, he did lead the West, did lead the way in support for Ukraine. Rishi Sunak has certainly continued that. James Cleverly, the Foreign Secretary, is in New York today. He will be speaking to the United Nations Security Council and he will be saying that the West must support Ukraine for as long as it takes.